Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for checking out The Secrets of Skateboarding. In this episode, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to heal a sprained ankle as fast as possible. So anyone who has had a sprained ankle knows it's one of the most painful things they've probably ever experienced. Sometimes a sprain can hurt more than a break. And uh, a lot of the times when you first hurt it, your first instinct, especially if it's your first one, is to take your shoe off. A lot of the times, you probably shouldn't take your shoe off. If it's broken, yeah, okay, take it off, but uh, you, you'll probably know if it's broke. But if you just sprain it, it's actually better to tie your shoe a little bit tighter so that it helps it not swell. So depending on if you tie your shoes loose or tight, um, sometimes you can get out of a sprained ankle if your shoes are a little loose. I like mine pretty loose, so sometimes I've almost sprained it, and instead of spraining my ankle, my shoe will just pop off. If your shoes are really tight, then if your ankle starts to bend, it's pretty much getting sprained no matter what. So I know you're probably not just gonna make your shoes looser just so that you might avoid a sprained ankle. If you do like to skate in loose shoes anyway, it could definitely save you from a couple sprained ankles. The first major tip that is super important, especially if you wanna keep skating right away, is right after you sprain your ankle, if you can get it on ice as quickly as possible, whether it's in a bucket of ice or wrapping it with the ice pack, it will help cut your healing time in half. Do it as quick as you can. Like if you're at a skate park, just take off home, go get it done, or go go to even like 7-Eleven and just get like a bag of ice and like put on your ankle. But whatever you gotta do, it's the number one thing to help you heal quick. All right, so normally I wouldn't use something this big, but this is all I have around. So I just took a cooler and uh, filled it with some water. And then um, you just dump the ice in. All right, so if you sprain your ankle, you just get to something like this as quick as you can, put your foot in there and just leave it for five minutes. This is really, really important for when you first hurt it. And uh, if you can do it within the first 15 minutes of doing it, it will cut your healing time in half. I know it is a little bit harder to get somewhere where you could do this so quick. So I'll show you how to do uh, wrap wrapping it with an ice pack also. But if you can do this, your ankle's gonna love you. Mm. It does hurt like hell though. My cat loves checking stuff out. I dare you jump in there, kitty. Oh, it's starting to hurt, but it feels good at the same time. That's all I could take right now. But if you can do five minutes, it will definitely help your ankle a lot. So the next thing I wanna to demonstrate to you guys is how to wrap your ankle with a uh, ice pack. And this is uh, a lot easier to do and faster to do than uh, throwing your foot in a bucket of ice. But um, if you can't get an ice pack, if you're at like a store and you, and you need it fast, you can also buy like a bag of peas or something out of the frozen section and just put it on your foot also. But you pretty much just put it where it's like sprained and just wrap it up. Just wrap it on there nice and tight. I recommend leaving your sock on because it's gonna get really cold. And this one you could leave on for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, because your sock will help damper the cold a little bit so it doesn't hurt your, your skin. Because you gotta watch out, you can get frostbite if you just put it directly on your skin and leave it on there. It has happened to people before. But this is probably the more practical thing to do if you hurt yourself at a park or you're somewhere far away from home or you know, and you just want to get it on there as quick as you can. But um, it is kind of hard to have a wrap on you at all the times. So you could even use a t-shirt to, to wrap it, which would work really well. And just uh, leave it on there for as long as you can. And uh, you'll notice the swelling will go down a lot faster. So this is a really cool ankle strap that you could put on. And uh, you know, I mean, I could probably get home fast enough to put this on to help my ankle heal quicker, but whenever I hurt my ankles, I use this. It's really sick. It's just a normal ankle strap. It comes with these inserts. I have like two or three extra ones, which are really sick. And uh, kind of just put it inside. It has some Velcro on it that holds it in place. So it's open like that. You take it and strap it on your foot. 
tighten it down. And then uh, you have this pump, which is really cool because then it applies a lot of pressure. So then the cold really permeates your, uh, your joint and really gets to it. Pump it up. And this works really, really well. And you don't make a mess doing it, so your parents will be happier about that. So, that's on there nice and tight. Just kind of chill, wait, and just let your, uh, your body take the cold in and keep your joints all nice and tight. I actually use this brand for, uh, you know, just keeping my joints like healthy. Cold is really, really good for your joints keeps them nice and tight and uh, reduces inflammation, which as you get older, inflammation's a big thing that really starts to mess your joints up. I've always been more of a, a cold guy, not much of a hot guy. I don't really like to put too much heat on my, my injuries because it increases circulation, which isn't necessarily bad, but it can make it swell up a lot bigger. So for the first day or two, I would suggest just going all ice, not really putting any heat on it. This is from a brand called Coreflex. But you also make really cool knee ones also, but that's for another video, talking about ankles in this one. And uh, yeah, this brand's awesome. It's really cool. It really does help a lot. You can feel it quite a bit in there. All right, so after you ice your ankle and you're, you've taken care of it that way, then it's pretty much up to you just to sit and elevate it. And just whenever you're watching TV or laying in bed, put a pillow under it, I'll kind of demonstrate over here so you guys can see. It's good to just, whenever you're chilling, just take a pillow or two and just kind of put your foot up so it's higher than your heart because then the circulation in your foot will let the blood come back down your leg. Otherwise, if it's below you like this, the blood just keeps going to it and since it's injured, it'll swell up bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Elevation is a huge part for your ankle not swelling too much. So, now that um, you've, you have that, that's pretty much your first day. Another thing is uh, you can also take ibuprofen, which will help with, with the swelling. And then um, after that, I would say, because you're probably gonna have to wake up and go to school or wake up and go to the bathroom, um, a really good thing that really helps a lot, especially if you have to go to school, is to just take an ACE bandage and just wrap it around your ankle extra tight. So it'll give you some kind of support. An ankle brace would also work really well for this. But I'm not a big advocate of ankle braces because I think ankle braces are, kind of help your body stay weaker. So you just wrap it up pretty tight. So once you have your ankle wrapped up, it'll look like that, a Spanish is a dove. And uh, if you gotta go to school, throw in your shoe. You'll probably have to untie your shoe and put it back on because <laughs> mine's way too tight now. Uh, another thing too, if it's really, really bad, is get crutches. But uh, there's a part about getting crutches that I like to not get crutches because if your ankle sprain is, if you can deal with the pain of walking on your heel, which I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys now. So there's my shoe tied with the ankle, with the uh, ace bandage on there, and it's just a little bit of support, it's just tighter. Another thing that really is important is that when you're walking around on it, and I do think it's better to walk on it as soon as you can because it promotes healing, is to, um, when you walk, just kind of walk on your heel. When you walk, just kind of walk on your heel. Don't really engage your toes. It's still gonna hurt, but it will also help your ankle stay. It will, it won't stretch the torn ligaments out or the torn, the torn muscles in there. Probably the biggest tip I can give you guys is not to baby your ankle too much. Is not just to like elevate it all the time, like ice it, use crutches, don't put any pressure on it. You know, if it's broken, you pretty much have to do that. Or if a ligament's completely severed, you, okay, you, you, you'll you probably need surgery for that. But if it's just a sprain, then I encourage walking on as quick as possible because then it helps encourage healing. 
Yuma likes the ace bandage. She's all happy now. Another big tip I have for you guys is um, try and push around on your board as soon as you can and do like manis on flat ground and just kind of like still skate, but definitely don't ollie, don't flick, don't do anything like that. Just uh, keep on your board so you keep your balance. But, um, you know, just roll, just cruise. Enjoy just rolling around and cruising. You don't always have to do tricks. A lot of the times when I've sprained my ankles, it's actually helped me get better at other areas of skating that I didn't want to practice before because I thought it was kind of boring. But when your body's hurt, you can't really do much anyway. The only thing I really have to let you guys know, you still have to be very, very, very careful because even a hot pocket or jumping off your board funny or anything can still hurt your ankle quite a bit. Another thing too is that every ankle sprain is different. Some of them, it can feel bad at first, but the next day you're fine. And then some of them, it doesn't hurt that bad, but then you'll get home and it swells up huge. And then the next day it hurts. And you know, I've, I've had friends who've hurt their ankles and it'll be good in a week. And then sometimes it's like messed up for like six months and they just can't kick flip or anything, you know? So each injury is very different. It's, it's all about listening to your body and feeling it out. If you are able to go to a doctor, I highly recommend going to a doctor as soon as you can and just getting their professional opinion as soon as possible. But I know a lot of skaters, you know, you don't have insurance and uh, you know, it's kind of tough to go to the doctor for stuff like that. And even me, it's like most of the time I know if it's sprained or broken. I'll show you guys photos of sprained ankles versus broken, sprained, broken, sprained, broken, sprained, broken, bone popping out, it's broken. If it's a little swollen and purple, it's sprained. But it's really about the mobility of it, how much it hurts, and just what has happened to you. Um, my first sprained ankle felt the worst because my ligaments were tight from my entire life. And uh, you know, it, it really sucked. But um, as I've gotten older, I've sprained my ankles a whole bunch of times and it feels like it's gotten easier and easier on them as time goes on because they just get used to it. A joint sprain loosens the joint so if it happens again it doesn't hurt as much another thing like after the first couple days and swelling has started to go down i would highly recommend using epsom salt i don't have a bathtub here so i can't show you how to do it but basically you just run a bath or some hot water pour the epsom salt in there and just put your foot in there and it will really loosen up your ankle a lot and your ankle will feel really good after that. But um, I still recommend icing it more than heat. For me anyway, it works way better. But um, everyone's bodies are different, so you really do gotta figure out what works best for you. I know a lot of people who have hurt their ankles in the past, and as soon as they hurt it one time, it's like they get addicted to using an ankle brace. And um, I really have to warn you guys that that can end up messing your skating up really bad. Because when you're using an ankle brace, your, the, the brace is supporting your ankle so that the muscles and joints don't have to and that can end up leading to your ankle becoming much weaker down the road so if you do use a brace try and quit using it as quickly as possible so that you can just start strengthening the ligaments and muscles naturally again the other thing I want to encourage is um, as soon as it feels strong enough start trying to flick some kick flips every now and then you know you don't have to try and land it but just kind of flick it just so that you can feel how the ankle feels with it and um, this will also help strengthen it but don't like give it a really mean hard flick just give it a nice little flick you know it can't be too hard because if it's too hard you might hurt it again but if it's a nice little just kind of like nice flick it can help uh, strengthen it and you can tell how hurt it really is but um, with a sprained ankle, you just really gotta nurse it back to health. It does just take a lot of time and patience. And um, you know, with the right care, it'll be just as good, if not better than before. I feel like my ankles are almost better than they used to be because now they're all nice and stretched out. All the muscles are really strong in there. When I first started skating, I think my ankles were pretty weak, but I've sprained both of them at least 10 times and they still feel great. So a big thing is just, uh, you know, it's just, um, doing your physical therapy, just exercising it, icing it, stretching it out a little bit, like just making sure that you're encouraging healing for your body. It's very important. If you just sit there and don't do nothing, 
which some a lot of people do do that. They just hurt themselves and they just sit there and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna wait till I heal. And you're like, no, dude, <laughs> that's the worst thing you could do because your whole body's getting weaker at that point. Your ankle's really getting weaker. So encouraging healing and encouraging strength will actually help your joint become stronger in the long run. Well, guys, thanks a lot for checking out this episode. If you guys like this episode, please subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to Braille Skateboarding. And uh, thanks for tuning in. If you liked it, please like, comment, favorite, share, do whatever you can. It really does help us a lot. And uh, stay tuned. We'll have some more videos coming for you very soon. And peace.